Vale. Up in Queensland. Been here for this will be the third night. Yeah, it is the third night, yeah. Hi everyone. Has been pissing down rain for the last three <laughs> oh, yeah. days. It's not fun, so we're not actually gonna show you rain in this vale. We've um, had a few car issues. Our first little car issues on the road. Something that everyone goes through, they have all problems. And we have to head back home, so tonight we thought we just do something different and do a little short video for you and show us what we're having for dinner. And tonight, it's Monday night, and Monday night is meat-free Monday. So I'm gonna prepare for you um, sweet and sour deep-fried tofu with fried rice. And our version, because Phil and I are both gluten-free and dairy-free, we pretty much have to do a lot of things by scratch, especially Asian food, because there's not a lot available out there that are gluten-free and dairy-free, unfortunately. So, I just experiment at home, and I love it. Yes, surely yeah, do, sure love I'll so tell you what, it's, it's a treat. It is, and it's quick and simple anyway. I, I always, I'm a simple cook. So I love to cook, but I like to cook it simple and make it quick and fast. I've got a small confession. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite meat free. It's, oh no, um, well it's not either. It's got bacon in it. Oh my god, I'm so silly. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of half free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. No. Yeah, anyway, half meat free Monday. So, anyway, let's get into it. Right, yeah. So, here we go the meat free bacon. <laughs> Cook off your bacon first. This is a real Well, we could make it meat free. If you were, you could make it vegetarian by just not having the meat and popping in some veggies like anything you like, zucchini, cut chicken, carrot, finely dice them, put them in. You could even buy vegan meat, vegan like what I used to call bacon because it's just fake bacon. I used to eat that because I used to be plant based for a couple of years actually. So basically you just want to brown off your bacon. Especially Miss Molly, you'll be loving the smell of that. Mm. Mm. Well, that Molly, I'm loving the smell of it. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of oil. Cooking it away. You can either get it really crispy if that's what you like. I just like to cook it a little bit just to enhance the flavour. And then I've just got peas and shallots under there. I've chucked them in as well. You could be really fancy smancy and add some prawns if you wanted. Just back that little bit of peas down. Look, I'm peeing everywhere. As you can tell, I'm not professional. I'm a bit slap happy that, you know, things get cooked, so that's all good. That tastes bloody awesome. Absolutely. Three second rule anyway. Bloody mozzies are bad tonight. Are they? They're yeah. not getting oil at long time. Well, I don't have a mozzie coil out tonight. Oh, I put yeah. them away. They normally have a mo mozzie yeah, coil Yeah, because we're packing burning. up and leaving tomorrow. Don't know how far we're going to get tomorrow, but we're just going to drive as drive, possible. See how far we can. Far go. as possible. Oh, I think we're, the gas is a little bit down. We're going to run out of gas, my love. Are you going to yeah, get Yeah, because you left yeah. it on. Okay. I did. Yeah, I did. I, I went to boil some eggs for lunches, and I totally forgot I had it on because I went inside the van and I was watching a movie and. Until I smelt something funny and heard something go bang, I thought, oh, shit, the eggs, and they exploded and they were oil dry. Oops, my bad. Okay, that's nice with cooking along, so I'm going to add your rice, and it's just basically packet rice. You know, I don't even microwave it, it's that microwave rice here. Chug in the microwave for a couple of minutes and done and dusted. So this is really, really cheating. But it's nice and convenient, so. You just chuck her in. I opened them earlier, so as you can see. They're not always easy to open. Chuck it in and just break it up. Okay, 
and I'm not fancy and snancy like you know how sometimes you see on YouTube you see people cooking and they're so slow and they're so careful well, that's not me get in there break it all up <laughs> you can yeah you can cook it first if you really wanted to let's stick in the oven turn it down a little bit just give it a little bit of a mixy round just to break up all the rice but turn it on a low heat so it doesn't burn mixed in because the next thing I'll put in is the egg. Now the egg, I just beat up four eggs in a bowl as you'll see and I just chuck them in the microwave, cook the egg, chop it up, done. Really easy peasy thing, what I prepared earlier. Bit of egg. Uh, sorry about the road noise. Oh yeah, we're right near the Bruce Highway. Yeah, when we got here, it was just raining and everything was soggy. The site that he was going to put us on was just a big slob hole. So we moved, but we're right near the highway. Anyway, he was really nice, the guy at the caravan park, and very patient with us and let us pick our own spot that we wanted to go. It was really good. He was very accommodating. Big shout out to him. Right, so I've just mixed it all in, and what I'm going to add, I normally have, would put soy sauce, but I don't have soy sauce, so I'm just using this coconut amino seasoning. It's a bit better for you anyway. Just gives it a nice little flavour, a bit of brownness to make it look like fried rice. A little bit of sesame oil for a bit of flavour as well. And my secret ingredient is a little bit of onion salt. Put it on. Give her a stir around. And that's it. Stir it all around. I might turn that off so it doesn't stick anymore. And that's it. That's done. Fried rice. Fried rice. Nice and easy. Smells good, doesn't it, Dad? Oh, it does smell good. It's gonna good. taste good. delicious. Mm. There you have it. My version of fried rice. Gluten free, dairy free, fast and easy. If you just wanted to put a bit of grilled chicken in it, you've got a complete meal or prawns, prawn and chicken, pineapple, you could add pineapple to it. Like I said, you can add make it vegetarian and put some veggies in it. And if you're vegan, just take the egg out as well and add more veggies and you're done ready to serve good stuff good old thumbs up <laughs> there it is people sweet and sour sauce which is so simple basically it's just equal quantities of tomato sauce brown sugar and water I chuck a little bit of ginger in there and a splash of sesame seed sesame oil as well So. So do the. What's this for, love? What are we? This cooking? is for the sweet and sour sauce. Sort of pack in the. Normally I don't use measurements, but you know I will tonight. Brown sugar, just pack her in. So depending on how much you want to make, it's depending on how much you use. I'm doing a third of a cup here because I've only got a little saucepan. So third of a cup brown sugar. Third of a cup. Tomato sauce. You can put a little tiny bit of corn flour in it if you like to thicken it, if you like your sauce thick, but I won't tonight. If I do use corn flour, I mix it in with the brown sugar first and that way it doesn't go lumpy. Now, add a wart of ginger. You can use fresh, I just use crushed because it's more convenient when you're travelling. 
basically now just some water. How many of those? Look. Oh, just a little bit less than a third. You can just, you know, put in more if you need be. I just cooked a taste basically. So you just want to bring it to the boil, really. Stir it all in, bring it to the boil, and that's pretty much it. It's done. There's Molly inside carrying on. She can smell mummy cooking. You can put a little bit of um, pineapple in this too if you like. A bit of pineapple, chunky onion, carrots if you like, just to make it a little bit interesting, make it look a bit more professional, a little bit tasty, but I won't do that tonight. Turn her up the heat. Gotta be careful, my saucepan only just fits on this hot plate. My little burner, my tiny little wee saucepan. Pretty much bring it to the boil and that's it. Done. Nice. Yeah, a little splash of sesame oil. Splash. Stir it in. And that's it basically. It's just sweet and sour sauce. Yep, my version of sweet and sour sauce. Something you can, you know, you pretty much have all these ingredients in the fridge and the pantry, so it makes it super easy and yeah, it's nice. super tasty. Oh, tasty for my belly. Mm, absolutely, it goes so well with the tofu. And when I show you how what I do with the tofu, you can also cook chicken wings as well the same way, but we'll get to that when I'm doing the tofu. Nice. Mm. Now I'm just going to coat it in, I've got chickpea flour in there, now you can use um, gluten free flour, corn flour, rice flour, I choose besan flour or chick chickpea flour because I've got it, potato starch would be really nice as well but I've got chickpea flour, um, lower in carbs and it's also higher in protein and fibre which is a little bit better for you considering I'm going to deep fry it but anyway. So, into that I just season it with salt. And I just go along and season, season, season. I don't measure, off I go. I'm a bit of a kitchen witch. I just pinch of this and a pinch of that. <laughs> <laughs> bubble, bubble, poil and trouble. Pepper. Well, Miss Molly's got her bucket in there, you oh, might want to go and see. She's been cooped up because of the rain, poor little thing. She's bored out of her brain. Molly? No. Molly? So salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder as well. A little bit of onion powder. And a little bit of Chinese five spice. Now like I said, this is really good with this mixture. You can do chicken wings, you can do calamari. I when I was plant based, I even got the plant based um, calamari, and that was really good as well. To toss it in this seasoned flour and deep fry it. But the chicken wings go well in our family at barbecues. Kids love it. So I just put it in a Ziploc bag. Excuse my hands. Chuck it all in, whoops. And toss it around. Now I think I put a good big heat tablespoon of the chickpea flour in. You can put more, you can put less, I just dump it. I think this looks about okay as long as it's all there's still some flour in there, so that's heat. And toss it all around. I love these bags, they're so good. Coat everything with the flour and then you just throw them in. Not very sustainable, but you know, it's nice and easy. Less dishes to wash at the end of the day, especially when you're traveling on the road and you don't have a dishwasher. Here's my dishwasher. Yeah, <laughs> we share it, we do. We work as a team, don't we, my love? We do, my love. Yeah. So, I'm hoping that oil 
will be hot enough and we can chop some tofu in and it doesn't take miss. long at all. It's so good, it's so no. easy, especially the tofu. You really don't have to cook it, you just have to brown the outside. Yeah, that's good. Careful not to splash the cameraman. That's it. Same cooking process with your chicken wings. Chuck it in the oil. Put the lid on if you want. If you need more heat. And bubble away. Now this is bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Got a bit of double protein there because tofu is actually really good and high in protein as well. It's very healthy for you if you're not allergic to soy. <laughs> what a Miss Molly! <laughs> oh God bless her! She's looking all cute with a toy, saying, "Mummy and Daddy, let me out." But it's just far too wet, sweetheart. I'm just using normal vegetable oil. So that's all I had up here. I normally would use rice bran oil, it has a higher smoking point so it's better, um, or peanut oil would be the best with this. Nice and light and crispy. As you can see that tofu doesn't take long at all. If you didn't want to serve it with this sweet and sour sauce, I have also served, served it with a Vietnamese dipping sauce which is really delicious. I just got a you can either buy it in the bottle from the supermarket or um, just Google a recipe and make it yourself. It's pretty simple. You can also use a cafe menace, like a sweet, sticky soy sauce, just to dip your tofu in. That would be really good as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't go super brown. You can leave it a little bit longer if you like. I just cho uh, chop my tofu up as well. You can press it. Some people press it really hard between um, paper towel to dry it out a little bit, but you know, I let it sit there for a bit with the paper towel and let it absorb a bit of moisture off it. But I don't normally press it because that's the way I like it. That you know, each to their own. And look at that. Uh, yeah, that's Yum. Yum. Yeah, this is going to be delicious. I actually can feel through this little sieve thingy that it's um, nice and uh, crispy. Happy days when we eat this, my love. Yeah, sweet. Cool. Uh, now yeah. for the rest. What do you think, my love? Oh, bloody beautiful. It's good. Really, really <laughs> tasty. We this. started eating before we... Um... <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to try it before you can advertise it. Yeah, well, that's true. So you didn't get our first bite, but anyway. A little bit Miss Molly's. Well, I know. She, she would love some, it. She wants some out of my mouth, but she's not having any out of my oh, mouth. I but, know. Yeah, it's bloody tasty, I tell you. Very so. good. Very good. Enjoy.